इसका कोई लिंक है लिंक क्रिएट किया है
गुड मॉर्निंग एवरी वन आई शैदल दिसवा ऑन बिहाफ ऑफ लोधा वर्ल्ड स्कूल एल एस जी वेलकम यू टू आर माइंड स्पार्क एक्सपो वेर ऑल आर स्टूडेंट्स फ्राम ग्रेड प्री प्राइमरी टू ग्रेड लेवन आर शो के सिंग दे आर ऑल सब्जेक्ट्स थैंक यू गुड मॉर्निंग एवरी वन आई शेर दिसवा एंड मिस सुष्मिता सुमंता रे ऑन बिहाफ ऑफ लोधा वर्ल्ड स्कूल एल एस जी वुड लाइक टू वेलकम यू टू आर माइंड एग्जीबिशन Okay, so your st- uh, students from starting from the pre-primary to the higher grades, they all really worked hard, and they are showcasing. They are showcasing their uh, each of the subject in front of you. Please go to each and every student and see how they did their hard work. Thank you. Thank you so much. दिस फ्लोर नाम उस प्रज्ञा मैम नीचे है क्या
please speak up your name? My name is Shreya. I'm from Sashi Pai. My name is Priyanshu. And what are your project? Uh, this is our project uh, based on our topic breaking of gender stereotypes. Gender stereotypes. Gender stereotypes tells us how uh, girls and boys should be in the society. But it's time that we break these uh, gender stereotypes and see people who are older to So we have many examples of gender stereotypes here. You can have a look. This is an example of a sandwich without. This is an example of sandwich which depicts the gender stereotype of women working at women making food. And this is an example of gender stereotype camera which depicts the gender stereotype of men. Thank you. Please speak out your name and your project. So my name is Sakshi Dave. My name is Sakshi Dave. I am from grade 19. So here basically my grandfather talks all about anxiety and how this anxiety affects our mind, the causes of anxiety and also like I have attached a 4-3 number in which you can contact and share your thoughts. Like if a person is uh, suffering from anxiety, uh, he or she can contact with the poultry number and share their own thoughts so they can overcome anxiety. And also if a person is kind of uh, introverted or they are not comfortable uh, sharing their thoughts with the unknown person, uh, they can go through many uh, therapies, like heart therapies or anything uh, which uh, calms which calms their mind or body. Be loudly, speak out your name and then your project. My name is Manali and today I am going to tell you a story. When I was in the city, basically the painting's name is your name first and then the project all three of you can come together come come closer come closer yes please speak out your names and then the project good morning everyone i am abhi kumar 
I love you in India. Hi, this is Patil. We are also seventeen. So today we welcome you all in this Mentalness Group Book Club. Which is all about books and uh, which are focused on mental health. The way which books can help us during a situation problem, and how they can help us during a problem. Oh, what a So now the this bookshelf has four sections: mental health focus, which mainly focus on mental health issues; teen voice, self help books, which let you know about yourself and develop your skills; some of the motivational books and this teen voice. So I'm never going to explain. chart about the so, chart for mental health issues one of the best books and yeah. there's some wonderful these are the two books this best book wonderful thank you thank you <laughs> yes speak out your name please and the project name loudly please good morning my name is sudeep and my project title is food as per mood so i have created a page confused most of the people like eating something sour like they like chaat uh, when they are sad they like to eat chocolate when they excited they like to eat yogurt and when they are confused uh, they eat sabzi so uh, this was the choice of the students of my class wonderful thank you so wait yes speak out your name loudly so my name is sir nachu pandey from 6b and i am going to show you are here to show you our scl social emotional learning exhibition group project so our exhibition group project mainly shows that how food is interconnected with our emotions so if you if you want to choose any emotion from this chart you can choose and if you are choosing happiness sadness anger you can take anything from here this related to mood by when you eat uh, when you are extremely sad and you need the power of 
vegetables while making your uh, vegetable salad you can also prepare your uh, vegetable salad according to your uh, personality here we also have a menu we have we also have a menu uh, there are some preferences which we would like you to try or if you want to make something unique by yourself you can name your uh, vegetable salad and write your name so here is a sample one that i have made you to food for you and there are also some uh, lemonade for you as a sample if you want you can try it out here thank you In visible, uh, since all of us know about physical disabilities, but there are only a few people who know what invisible disabilities are. I'm going to tell you about a few invisible disabilities. First one is dyslexia. Dyslexia is a learning difficulty that affects fluent word spelling and reading. Symptoms of dyslexia are difficulty spelling words, trouble naming letters, left greater confusion, trouble rhyming, reluctance to read aloud, and trouble spelling. Next, secondly, I'm going to tell you about autism spectrum disorder. ASD is a is a disorder that affects how people interact with others, communicate, learn and behave. Symptoms of ASD are some in individuals do not respond to their names, some avoid eye contact, some do not smile when you smile at them, they, uh, they get very upset if they don't like a certain taste, sound or smell. They do not talk as much as others. Thank, uh, thank you for listening to me. Uh, I hope you enjoyed my presentation. You have to be loud. Good yes. morning. Good morning. Myself, Kutiyanchi, and myself, Kutari. Today, we, the friends of six, they are going to tell you about autism. So, first, let's start with the definition. So, the definition says that autism spectrum disorder is a disorder that affects the human body, human mind, and the spinal cord. It also affects the
talking then So this is a exhibition Mind Spark Expo 2024, and you can see various. Sorry. Good morning everyone, I am Anika Gumakonda and this is my topic Mental Health Directory. So first we will understand what mental health is. Mental health includes your social, emotional and psychological well-being. It also affects how you think, feel and behave with others and it also determines how you uh, are tackling your stress and uh, making good choice. Uh, but in these days most of us are feeling uh, depressed, anxious and few people are uh, facing with history on 
personality disorder which means uh, a person is seeking attention or engages in dramatic uh, moments for attention for zoom fatigue which we all have faced during uh, lockdown these were only few examples of uh, mental health concerns but then uh, in this directory you can find more uh, concerns and also psychiatrists counselors and support groups thank you hold this hold Good morning, everyone. I am Zulaf from Class 8B, and and Happy Republic Day. So I have created an app really, uh, which uh, whose name with, with the name of it is Mindful Mood, and uh, there are different type of things such as YouTube, Matrix, Shopify, uh, Media App Center, Community Wall, and a whole. Yes, I have created an app. Yeah, I created. Yeah. Uh, so Matrix and Community Wall. Uh, from Community Wall, you can join different type of groups, and uh, Matrix and Community Wall is something that uh, you can like read. Uh, for uh, you can post different type of things and you can also post that how to overcome different uh, uh, types of mental health problems that you are going through uh, media center manual is something from where you can uh, where journalists and media uh, news reporters come they write about different type of uh, journals and all they write that what's going on around the world related to mental health then comes youtube youtube uh, youtube is a uh, youtube is a page that is uh, made by me myself and uh, over here i myself post some uh, links related to you uh, youtube videos that i find mental health depression and different thought, uh, stress thoughts and all and they uh, and they also take like a minute and sometimes the youtube videos do take test uh, so if i find something uh, you can share the app by the qr code given over here or you can share through uh, mail and all and shopify is something uh, which i'm still working on because the app is not published yet and uh, I'm still working with it, on it with related uh, with Amazon. Thank you. Good morning, everyone. My name is Charbi. My name is Nishita. Today we are here. Today we are here to talk about why is it important to take care of our minds. So mental health awareness in school means helping everyone understand and talk about their, our feelings and thoughts. And how it can affect our well-being. And it's like shining a light on the mental health to make sure people it's okay to help. It's okay to ask for help when it's needed. So mental health is how we feel and think. It's super important for doing well in school and as well as in life. So if you ever feel really down, it's okay to ask for help. We have awesome people around here, and we can try some exercise like uh, deep breathing, uh, meditation, listening to some music. Going to some nature walk. Yes. So we have here an, a movie name called Inside and Out. So these are the characters of the movie, and we uh, the movie explains about uh, emotions uh, we have, and we have seven days will uh, wellness plan. Uh, we can go a day for a nature walk, compliment someone, and set a new fitness goal. A random act uh, on kindness, drink plenty of water, plan a healthy meal. meditation on god's word thank you just hold this here and don't touch anywhere else your mind speak more than your mouth Good morning, myself, Rishika Mishra from Class 11th, and I'm representing the topic for suicide prevention from the subject social emotional learning. These are the ways one can cope up from the suicide suicidal thoughts. A student commits suicide in India every hour. Twelve percent of Indian students suffer from mental issues like depression, anxiety, insecurities, ADHD, autism, etc. Mental concerns often manifest with the problems like lack of academic performance, lack of motivation, uh, social interaction issues with teachers and peers. The solution lies in parents, students, and teachers. All three play a major role to uh, ensure the well-being of mental and uh, parent. These academics helping India's young generation. 
In India, parents often go into a denial mode when it comes to the mental well-being of their children. They pass out sentences like, my children has no such problems. Though, you never know if your children is suffering from depression. Because this is the whole topic which is a major part a student is suffering from. These are the symptoms one can um, see in a student facing suicide, uh, suicidal thoughts, prevention methods, helpline numbers and the rates of India. These coping mechanisms like every education system and school must have a counselling room and a counsellor which give a students a comfortable environment to share their thoughts. A workshop and a counselling program. Art and music are the ways one can express themselves openly and purely by themselves. Thank you very much. Only two minutes, okay? Quickly start the project and hold only for no else. Good morning everyone, my name is Vedika Gore and I am Vedika Srivastava. So uh, we all know that uh, maintaining our physical health is equally important as maintaining our mental health. So when we get hurt, the first thing we approach, uh, the first thing we approach is the first aid kit. But what about our mental health? Mental health for mental health, we have made this box uh, which you can approach whenever you feel uh, mentally unwell. And uh, here are some things which are. Here are some things which are the solutions for many problems you face, which appear to be small, but they aren't. So yeah, the first, this is our secret box. Uh, kind of there some. These are some uh, soft toys you can see by uh, hugging them, it will produce you, produce, uh, uh, produce you in emotional support and feels like these are some uh, chest relief balls which can calm you down by, uh, by letting you release your tension and squeeze your tension, stress and makes you relief. And this is a glitter jar. When we shake this glitter jar, you can see that the glitters scatter around and then redirect back to its position. While we are focused on watching this happen, it makes us it serves as a distraction and also makes it us feel satisfied and also works as a stress reliever. Some other farming methods we have recommended are are such as Eat, uh, drink 8 liters of water, do meditation and yoga, do gratitude journal every day, eat your famous snacks and drink fresh fruit juice. Now what are coping methods? Coping methods are practices or actions that help us feel relaxed and reduce stress. Hold this here and don't touch any images. Hold like this. Yes, this is your mic. 
Hello, my name is Aradhya. Hello, my name is Aradhya. I am from class six day. This is my wheel. It's called Feel the Wheel. So it has two wheels. One is smaller and one is bigger. So the smaller wheel has concerns. So you have to spin it. So uh, the solutions are. So my name. Is, yeah. So it has concerns, and the bigger wheel has solutions for these concerns. So if I spin it, I draw distractions. So the solution for dis distractions can be try to calm yourself and meditate. So this tells us that we have to always meditate and calm ourselves whenever we get distractions from school or anywhere. Thank you. Sorry, sir. One second. So uh, you are live on YouTube on Cloudy. We just hold it here. Yeah. yeah. Speak your names and then describe your project in your summary. Just one or two. We are done. Yeah. Right answer. Please write. Let me write it. Go ahead. Describe it to them. So hi, my name is Ananya. My name is Shikha, and uh, today we have a project. We actually have a game. Just hold here and don't touch any windows. Okay. We have a game known as Escape Room, and we want to show you. Uh, we want you to play this game. So in this game, there's a city named Mastermind City, and we have four buildings. The first building is Hippocampus. Hippocampus is a part of our brain, which helps us to uh, to think at a very high level. Second thing, PFC. Also known as prefrontal cortex, it is a part of our brain which helps us to uh, think at a very high level. Plus, we memorize something, or else, yeah, we memorize something. Plus, uh, now uh, we have a. So this two space has nothing to do with logic. No, actually, this is the this is the name of the building. So. What the compass is the state of mind. Right? Yeah. What's the name of the building? No, good, 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 good. This is another. This here is another state of mind. Yeah. Okay. So here yeah. you need a very high level of. Yeah. No, actually, this provides us to. Uh, it allows us to think at a very high level. Okay. okay. So you have to find the kidnapper and so which building is. Like it will help you to think more. Okay. So you are you are not coming to any conclusion, right? Like, am I hyper? No, 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 no. Actually, this is the name of the building. Okay. Now you have to find the kidnapper. As the kidnapper had kidnapped, as the kidnapper had kidnapped uh, four children. Okay. Four children. Plus, you have some questions here. So please answer it. So, okay. So basically, this is the name of the building of the site. Yeah, it's so just the name of the building. Nothing to do with letter. So this has nothing to do with the uh, state of mind. No, like uh, no. Okay. Hippocampus. Eh, like we have uh, the definition of it here, and like so, hippocampus. We just need a story telling, right? No, actually, no. Want you to know hmm. that what is hippocampus and uh, prefrontal cortex, as it is a uh, very uh, like uh, it's a very important part of our brain, okay. which helps us to uh, make decisions okay. and think more. Yeah. So now you have to find the kidnapper and in which building. Find his answer. So what is your judgment? Like, how? What is your conclusion yeah. out of this? So you have to also say the reason that why uh, okay. why this building. Just okay, so I have given two answers. Like, here the book. These are book. Yeah. It's very easy for him to enter. Yeah. Second, this is the nearest place. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, my name is Ananya. And my name is Shikhar. Thank you. So, in one line, can you describe your project? Like this is uh, this project's name is Escape Room Eight Doors. So there are uh, eight doors are also known as the eight levels. 
and uh, you have to find that where is the kidnapper and who is the kidnapper and plus there are the uh, plus there is a detective to find out the kidnapper but he was killed by someone so even you have to find that the the visitor just now he found and uh, moving to so hold it this way okay this is the mic okay don't get the bells don't get the bells so uh, starts from hello and good morning so my name is priyu patel and this is my work so here is a uh, here is a very favorite character doraemon shin chan and doraemon so shin chan comes from a school and says hey doraemon doraemon replies yes shin chan what happened shin chan says uh, do you have any gadgets on my concerns doraemon replies what are your concerns then shin chan says i have a list of concerns doraemon says oh list of concerns i have a gadget jumping concerns and concerns less be had so this is a book called jumping concerns in which we have collected some concerns over the uh, 10 6 to 10 so here are some mental health concerns some of the common concerns are i'm scared of bullying i'm scared of judgment i am so shy and many more so now here is a book called concern less b high in which we have categorized this concerns into some groups and we have found some solutions for them so first concern is anger issues you must be facing anger issues so we have found a solution for it they may take deep breaths and try for 7 8 so you must be pursuing for this for 7 8 trips so in this we breathe in for 7 for 4 seconds we hold it for 7 seconds we breathe out for 8 seconds then uh, this may calm ourselves and if it is in not control we can count numbers which may also calm ourselves now next low self esteem you must be wondering what is low self esteem so low self esteem is when a child feels that they are not capable of doing anything they uh, can't achieve their goals so uh, they don't trust themselves so we have found a solution for it as well student may give themselves a goal or challenge Uh, or challenge to achieving those goals may help them to increase their self esteem now next crossing personal boundaries so we have a solution for it as well the student should know ways to safely stand up to those students who cross their limits like report to a good friend or classmate they may also approach to a teacher now next involving into first involving into physical fight so there is a solution they should be afraid and report they should not be afraid and report to the teacher they can explain the incident happened and may also help them now next bullying affecting academics so bullying many a times affects our uh, affects our uh, academics and studies so we have found solution for this also the child uh, should try to say no they should approach to a teacher or a trusted friends they may tell their parents too now the last one but not the least fear of the fear of judgment and stage fear in which uh, so we have found a solution for it they at least once try to interact or consult with any teacher or any good friend or classmate so also now moving forward so now in this we have to pick a uh, pick a chit we have to pick a chit among this and we have we this have some concern and we have to answer uh, and write it down and we have to keep it in this so can so that we can go through your suggestions and solutions thank you Thank you.
Wait. Hold this. You should hold it like this. Okay. Hold. Yes. Speak on this. Hello, my name is Nidhi, and my project name is uh, Emotion, Emo, Emograph. Yes. Hold this like this, okay? This is the mic. Hello, my name is Vara Dharma Purikar and my name is Kuti Chaudhary. This, the project name is Vocabulary of Basic Emotions. Thank you. Speak into this. Good morning, my name is Nitya and this is my uh, uh, chart, Emotion Meter. Good morning. Uh, so, good morning, my name is Ananya Panch. So, I am doing the work. In the 
Yes, yes. Speak your name and your project name. Let me see. Wait, 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 wait. Yes. My name is Purisha Tania. And I am Dr. Purisha Tania. Here is our project on Say What You Mean. Smile. Yeah, 
children in mind. Only one sentence. Stand here, stand here. So it is a special child you have to direct them. Okay, only one sentence. And you can hold it. I hold it for you or you hold it? Hello, ma'am. Good morning everyone. My name is Vedantika. My name is Urbi and I, we are from class 4B. This is my project Circle of Control and these are the flashcards of things we can control and things we cannot control. We have to stick the things we cannot control inside the circles. I mean things we can control inside the circle and things we cannot control outside the circle. Thank you. You want to say something? Good morning. My name is Advika Singh. And my name is Ihan Safdar. Our project name is My Mind. So, this project is about SEL. So, it is just a little game. We have to play by closing our eyes and uh, picking random cards from from over here and sticking them. The, uh, these uh, these are the cards which will not stick to the brain because they don't have magnets and they are not in our control. Uh, but these will because they are in our control. Okay. One second, please. Yeah, please stand. My name is Samriddhi Badani and I am Nehira Patil. Our topic is Control Sphere. I am explaining it. In this, there is a brain and there are some flash parts. So, in this, some flash parts have magnets and some have buttons. So, that Flash cards that you have in your control is have to be stick here and not and which is not in your control. Yeah. Thank you. I am Nayanika and he is Devish. We are taking the feedbacks of everyone who is not coming. Uh, there are there are uh, there are some feedback that uh, some parents can and give us to see everyone works works. Yes, Hello, everyone. Hello everyone, my name is Shubhangi, my uh, grade is 4A, my today project name is counseling, so uh, my one, one line is therapists are trained professionals who help to throw your problems. Good morning, my name is Sanika and today I am going to say about mental health and counseling. It's important to take breaks. Taking about our feeling is a superpower. 
Consider our train to be excellent listeners. A thing positive things. Each one of us is special. Consider it is a just fun problem. We to improve our overall well-being. Hi, my name is Anvi Umesh Khate. Today we will explain a game, a circle of control game. The basic game, this is game, and you have to uh, take a sticky note and a stick pen, and then you have to uh, you have to stick it up. You have to write what things are in your control or not in your control, and then stick it on the circles. Thank you. Hello, my name is Teet Sharma and her name is Smriti and our topic is Circles of Control. Imagine this is your focus and this is things which is in my control. You will drop this focus in things which is in my control. So focus should be at things which is in my control. Thank you. I am a part of the STL exhibition. So, Good morning, my name is Anji Mishra from class 4D. My project is about the solar system model. This is a working model of mine. There are 8 planets in Good morning everyone. My name is Hajvika Vyas and my project name is solar system model. It has 8 planets and one biggest star named Sun. Good morning, my uh, Good morning, my name is Krishna Modgil from class 4 D. Uh, uh, it's a 3 D. Uh, it's my uh, my project name. Um, for, uh,
the solar system there eight planets and sun and the and the satellite hi my name is maira and this is my project our solar system uh, here this is sun mercury venus earth mars jupiter saturn uranus and neptune good morning and happy republic day this is my pro working model of the solar system it has eight planets this is how it works oh this is how it works and now and uh, there are eight planets That's it. That's it. Yes. That's it. Your name and your project name, please. Just the name of your project and your name and one line about the project.
वेरी गुड वेरी गुड प्रोजेक्ट मैम मत Yes, one line. Very good. Very good. My name is Anvi Mishra from Class 4D, and this is my working model of solar system. Am I anybody left in your class? Hold it like this, and just your name and one line about your project. Good morning. I'm Anishka, and this is my project, which is a demonstration of how a binocular works. It has two pointed lenses and a prism inside as well, like this. Thank you. Yes. Good morning, everyone. My name is Rudran Yogesh Ganga. I am from class one. Today I will speak about Albert Einstein. He was born on March fourteen, eighteen seventy nine, in Germany. 
He got the Nobel Prize for Physics in 1921. In this discovery, help us to understand more about more about how light and electric work together. Example: solar panel, where sunlight helps to create electricity. At the age of 26, he was discovered E equal to mc square relative. Thank you. Everyone, just listen to me for a minute. One second. One, two. Okay. I think you have fish stock. Just hold one second, huh? Yeah, go ahead. Speak out your name. Say once again. Say once again your name and your project name. My name is Ayurveda. I made the project of process of water pollution. Speak out your name and your project name. My name is Ayurveda. Yes. Your name and your take the video of this one, like this. Can I start? So, uh, we have made a project of hydroponics. Hydro hydroponics me it means it, it's an it's an crop uh, crop system to grow plant. Uh, 
to grow plants with nutrient rich water solution it uses 1 by 10 less water than the soil cultivation now i am handing it over to explain to my friend kaksh and myself robert yeah my name is kaksh mukarjan and this project is that it revolves again and again and is never they will never end and this is an eco friendly method and the plants can grow in close environment thank you let's start so my name is arohan pukot from class 4a and i read uh, um, traditional and modern methods of farming Okay. And and I made about uh, drip irrigation. My name is Nitya Shetty from Class Four G, and my project is about the process of farming. It is about process of. My name is Nitya Shetty from Class Four G, and my project is about the process of farming. My name is Ar. I'm. What is the project? Solar irrigation. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah. Yeah. So my name is Anand. This is automatic plant water system. So what we do is we use a pasta grower. This is only a Now hold this. Speak out your names and your project names, In one by one. Sir, yeah. No. Here, bottom. Yes. Raj, is the only one here. Okay. What is the project name? Type of plant. Very nice. Take out your name and your project name. Your name? Not name, name.
Okay, that's it, that's it. Pick out your name and your project name.